The following program contains language and subject matter that you may consider unsuitable for children. Parental discretion is advised. This program is rated PD. Pretty disgusting. Neil God. North Miami, hello. North Miami. Hello. Yes, sir. Neil. Yes. A Jamaican man. Uh-huh. Listen, where are we listen to you now? You yeah. Sure, you, you have a nice show, man. I tape it and I carry Jamaica when I go back here. Yeah, man. What is it? I tape it and you show me carry back Jamaica when I go back here. Yeah. What, okay. you, what, what did you just say? What He's language are you speaking? He taping my show. Right. And you're going up in the air? I'm going back to Jamaica and I'm carrying it with me. Oh, you're carrying it up in the air? Like yeah. that balloon guy. Yeah, look what happened to him, though. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. All right. Okay, don't smoke too much. Are you going to be in the business class or coach? Coach. Oh, you smoke all you want. Okay, have a good flight, man. Okay, <laughs> okay, man. okay. Yeah, man. Well, in fact, September 7th on Labor Day, when I'm away, George is doing a whole four hours ripping the Puerto Ricans on that day. That's the rumor that I'm hearing. Four hours of attacking Puerto Ricans and their culture and their food. Do they have any food to Puerto Ricans? <laughs> no. Yeah, what's, what's Puerto Rican cuisine? No. Huh? I mean, if you eat out of a can, at least you can always poke it open with those switchblades. But, I mean, uh, you know, what, what is Puerto Rican cuisine? No. No such thing. Which already puts it ahead of Cuban cuisine. Oh! Yeah, by a You've long shot. I don't want to hear about pork. it. I don't want black Racist. beans. I don't want rice. What? I don't want... There's, no. there's, so, black beans and rice is a side dish. We keep going a over that. A side dish to what? To whatever. To the pork. And to those the palomino steaks. Noches, man. To what? What you was the other the one? Pork. Palomino the... steak. Yeah, we know, we know which horse that comes from. The palomino. We know that. So I'm running at Pompano Wednesday you night like in, the, in the dark. the Pollo Tropical pork. That's great stuff. Well, that's Cuban food. Yeah. And there's a lot more. You've never had ropa vieja. What else you can't... I've never had what? There you go. Sopa See na, there? Ropa? Sopa na ropa? ropa vieja. Viejo. I've had sopa na ropa because I've learned you better not drop it. Black beans and not rice. Not a good idea. That's, That's what the Pope the told me. Don't drop it a sopa. That's what he said. Yeah, in fact, you drive by these Cuban restaurants, it says sopa on the side. What are you going to do? Be showering in there or something after you eat? What the hell do you need sopa in a goddamn restaurant? These, uh, this Cuban cuisine, man, you guys need a little bit of direction. A little bit of assistance. But cu Puerto Rican cuisine? No. Better get this back on. Get the Luna t Looney Tooney Yarmulke on so that uh, we can get that market back up. It's not doing too bad. It's only down about 30 points. What's wrong with that? It was down 60. And I'm going to tell you, if you want to get a nervous stomach, if you want to start puking and having wild, wicked <laughs> diarrhea, just turn on CNBC today. Just sit there transfixed in front of the set. Tie yourself, strap yourself into a seat, and prop your eyelids open with toothpicks, and just force yourself to... It's up and down. It's, it's like, uh, man, oh, man, like a Mexican jumping bean. What are you worried about? It's only everybody's money. What are you worried about? Oh, there's Boris Yeltsin. This man's been dead for uh, six months. Nobody told him about it. Boris Yeltsin, yeah. Have you ever seen, I'm sure you've all seen that one deal. Remember after he had the heart attack and the open heart surgery? And he came out and uh, was standing there on a stage somewhere in Siberia, no doubt, to prove to the uh, Russian people that he was still vigorous and healthy. And he was doing one of the, he was like this, like he was doing some kind of a Russian uh, Kazatsky or whatever. And he's like shaking. Well, so what does it take? You can be on your deathbed and going like this. What, what does that prove, huh? He's like this. Yeah. Well, all he needed were a couple of maracas and he could have played some of that hoochie coochie crap we were playing the other day. Papote uh, Yeltsin. Maniac, you lunatic, you crazy Ruski bastard. And, and the thing that I really love. They keep saying, well, you know, the Russian, whether the whole Russian thing goes into crapper as far as their economy is concerned, has got almost nothing to do with the American uh, economy. But uh, don't confuse this with the facts, okay? Because maybe we're worried about La Bamba. What are we worried? I don't know. The fact is that they got everybody worked up into a panic, which is good because this will drive the prices way to hell down and we'll be able to get in there uh, real cheap. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, right. Here's Miami Lakes. Hello. Hello, Neil. Yes, sir. Hi, I wanted to call you yesterday regarding the post office. See? I, I didn't get a chance to. Okay. Uh, I wanted to make a comment. I have a, I, I had a friend of mine who worked for the post office. And I had you're you're a, not an Puerto Rican, are you? No. Oh, no by the God. way, I got a call before. He was Puerto Rican. I'm Cuban. I can tell a Puerto Rican. Yeah, you can tell one of them. You can smell them a mile away. You're right. <laughs> well, anyways, this That's guy, I had, a, I had an office in Hialeah, and this guy <clears throat> will come at about 12, 30, 1 o'clock every day to my office. And he will stay there until about 4 o'clock talking crap to me and to the people in my office. This guy was there till 4 o'clock in your office in talking crap. crap. Just, wow. Just talking. And at about 4 o'clock, he will call his office and uh, ask for his supervisor and tell him, hey, I'm very, very backed up. I need some help here. Yeah, he's uh, probably you... backed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and they actually sent out someone to help him out, and he get like three or four hours of overtime on a daily basis. <laughs> and this is, you know, these other people that are calling in and telling him that they're working hard, and the, that's bull, I, I, I can tell you firsthand. And another comment I wanted to make to you, you were talking about Norcross. Uh, I was watching Oh, and you know something? He's still trying to bring you know, this other one that's coming out that's definitely not coming here. He's trying to bring that one back down with his hand on the map. He keeps yanking it down. And he, uh, exactly. I was Storm watching. Too. Well, I, I was watching Rick Sanchez on uh, Channel 7. Bad move. And this, <laughs> this, the, the weather guy is telling him that the, the new hurricane is going up north. It's by like New Jersey already. And Rick is telling him about Is there any chance we can get it down here? Yeah. And Isn't there any going, chance we might uh, be able to get it here so we can you know, capitalize and exploit and Rick, it? Rick. Rick, give it up. It's not coming down yeah. here. The, the guy basically told him. Every time they say, every time they say that, you see the uh, news anchor with a real depressed, sour look <laughs> on his puss. Neil, God. So I told you there's got to be two or three nice Jamaican women. Because she had that kind of Jamaican sound, but she didn't have that imperious, hostile, condescending attitude that so many of the Jamaican women have. If you know exactly what I'm talking about, uh -huh. yeah, you do. She was a sweetheart. And she also had good taste. She liked this show. And she said George is uh, pretty marginal looking. Did you see that? They asked her, uh, do you think George is cute? And she said, no. You didn't see that, did you? Yeah, she liked my long hair better. Yeah, because she said it covered up your... Oh, I just noticed George is getting gray. Oh, getting? Prem Prem been. Have you noticed that? Prematurely gray. You got more gray hair than I do. I don't have any, uh, very little. I started getting gray when I was 17. Oh, my God. This, this spick is getting gray. Better than going bald like so my we other got, So we could change the name of the show. It's Gay and Gray. Holy crap, we got a man in here who's like a uh, punk with gray hair. Well, we like to give our uh, kids a chance on the air. Yeah, Bluff, there's, here's an old man that's 87 tomorrow, and we're going to give him a shot, a one-shot deal. And, um, I, I was shaving this morning, I nearly slit my uh, face off when I was thinking about that deal about him having you wanted, uh, wanting to have you introduce segments from the uh, Best of Tapes. I mean, Bluff, I'm going to tell you, if you want to do us a real big favor, stay away from us, okay? Go out, check out the tea rooms. I mean, do anything, but, but just stay the hell away from us, please. A lady mobile in Pompano. Neil. It's a real lady? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, and I love your show. My boyfriend loves your show. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've been listening, for, listening to you forever, like forever. Right. And I love your uh, TV show. Last week I heard you say that um, they were going to be rerunning your TV shows, but they look new to me. They what? They seem like they're new. Oh, they are new. They were going to do that, and I told that Maddie. I said, we're going to get you deported and sent back to Haifa if you don't cut the crap. He said, okay, okay, whatever you say. Oh, good, because they just get getting better and that better. skinhead. Yeah, they are getting better. And last they night they had so two good. nice shows on air. If they would have kept Don Cox off, it would have been really good. Oh, it's just fantastic. Doing amateur and, uh, comedy. And George is cute. George is pretty cute. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, not bad. Listen, before you leave, I'll give you the number of a real good optometrist. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to be... Uh, and he also brings his own cheese today. with the package, okay, too, by the way. I love you. Okay. And I think you're so good. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend. cracking up all day. Okay. Love you. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Uh, okay. Get out of here. We have an open line at Broward, 567. I just... Uh, how come I never noticed that? Probably because I don't really look at George all that much. Not personal, but uh, why look? But, uh, huh? I'm serious. If you got David to come in here and take his clothes off, he'd get some people to turn on that show, and then Rob can come in here later. See, the only pro What? No, we just won't show the head. I mean, okay, where are we going? Oh, seriously, if we had some naked people on there, it's, no, we don't need Don Cox on the uh, show there. That's not going to get anybody tuning in to see that big fat tub of lard on there trying to do amateur comedy. We don't need Don Cox. We need real people. Oh, if I had Neil one-on-one, -on -one, person to person, just to say anything I wanted to do to him, I would say this. Lighten up, Neil. You're going to have a damn heart attack. I mean, any minute now, you're just, your head is going to explode. You take it way too serious. Lighten up. Oi. Oh, God, Neil. Here's a lady in uh, Miramar. Hello. Hi, Neil. Yes, ma'am. How you doing? Okay. I'm a lady, and I'm black, and I'm Jamaican. All right. Hey. Woo. You got one, Well, you got a lot of strikes against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can relate man. to that. Good timing, too. I heard your song. Yeah. Go, ganja, go. Go, ganja, go. Yeah, smoke that ganja and choke on it, huh? Yeah, in fact, uh, Fat Joe's choking out in the other room in a ganja, too. <laughs> I hope it's some good stuff. Okay. Hey, but just give me a good shout out. Your show's real good. Okay, thanks, like sweetheart. I like speak your mind. Have, your great, have a great life. Uh, what'd I get? Say goodbye. What'd you get? Yeah. That's for you. All right, baby. Okay, see ya. <laughs> what'd she get? <laughs> what'd he get?
did she get? Here's something for you. <laughs> Take it home and uh, stuff it in the oven. Give her a little jerk pork, okay? There's just something about that Jamaican cuisine, you know? Just the name of it always kind of amuses me. Jerk the, pork? Uh, meat patties are good. Jerk chicken? Jerk this? Jerk and the gherkin? What? Meat patties? They have meat patties. They have, like, ground spiced beef. And oh, they get out of here. Like They're meat pocket. patties. Oh, you're and talking caca, man. No, it's all right. Next, you're going to be peddling me on fried plantains and stuff like you that. You like fried plantains. I know. You used to get them from Sunday's Market I all the time. Plantains. So, just uh, why are you so uptight? One minute he's being defensive about how the, all these old Cubans are a bunch of barbarians and ought to right. go back where they came from, and the next minute he's like uh, so uptight and hysterically just professional get Cuban. Get it right. Get I call what a right? Spick a spick. Nothing wrong with the food, but those a lot of them are. How about a grease ball? This? How's that? Grease ball? I can't even hear you sometimes. Why not? Because Joe's, Joe's coughing dying. and hanging here. Well, He's you know something, up when, you're smoking, when you're smoking those faggots like one after another, and then the puffing little uh, wicked weed on the side, or is it, if I got it backwards, it just gagging and puking. How the hell do you put up with that for four hours every day? God, what's he Deliciously doing? Deliciously different marijuana. Deliciously he should have kept that Jamaican broad on. She'd get him some good stuff, okay? He wouldn't be gagging and puking and choking. And, uh, man, send him to Amsterdam, okay? He'll find out where the really good stuff is. You don't have to worry about uh, going to the Slimer for 40 years either. Not that I give a crap one way or the other, but what a silly country this is, man. Silly, silly country. People behind bars because they do, uh, smoked a little... They grew a couple of plants in the backyard. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Woo! We got our priorities straight in this country. Here's a mobile in Miami. Hello? Mobile in Miami. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Okay, get a new phone. Go get a new phone and uh, get out. What is that guy? Underwater? Is he doing Lloyd Bridges? Here's Miami. Hello? <laughs> no, hold yeah. on. Yes, sir. Come on, get with it. Uh, Come on, let's go. Let's go. I'm Come here. Yeah, okay, I can't, let's I can't. go. Let's get with it. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I want to ask you a question. When you guys were doing that thing at the Pizza Loft with the uh, video phone, Yeah. are you guys going to ever have something where we can call you and, like, I have video phone capability on my computer? Would we be able to call you and talk to you uh, using via the video, video phone? Beats the hell out of me. Oh, I just... We uh, will? I'm hoping. That's what Joe says. Fat Joe is nodding his head in between choking and eating and coughing and smoking. He said, yeah. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. That'll be great. I in fact, we have a thing coming up at a Plants TV Depot. Is it next week we're doing that? And we're going to be giving away a big screen TV with that video phone. We're going to have uh, a bunch of goofballs down there. Which, uh, which appliance I don't know yet. Video? I don't know. We want to keep you uh, hanging on the string. Keep it, bring it down to Miami. Okay, we'll work on it. Hey, but wait a second. Uh, don't hang up on me I'm yet. I'm not uh, hanging up. I'm sitting here eating my lunch and enjoying it very much, too, by the way. Uh, couple Thanks for of asking. A couple of things. That was one. Oh, I got so much pleasure. Did you see the uh, uh, Mr. Humberto Hernandez? Uh, oh, yeah, four up? years. Four years. I love it. All right, let's hear it for Bert. <laughs> oh, and they also had uh, Alex Dowd on there talking about when they send you to one of those federal joints about you're living in constant fear, and if you're a politician and they know exactly who you are and what it's all about, then they really go after you. I love and, it. And uh, every moment of his existence in there is going to be like pure living hell, and I thought, oh! all right. <laughs> Could happen to a worse guy. Right, more deserving guy. Oh, my. And those crusty old Cubans, I bet you I bet you $100, they're still backing him up. Oh, he's not guilty. It was, it was a, an American plot. Yeah, anti-Cuban plot Cuban. again, right. Oh, my God. I, I had sexual pleasure, Neil. Good. It was incredible. Hey, you're the best. Okay. I'm Reva Dirty. And you took that goddamn lighter out of here. What's wrong with you, you crazy little bastard? Didn't you don't you know after you have a nice little meal like that? A nice little meal. That was enough uh, meat and cheese and onions there for five families. But nevertheless, after you pig out like that, you sit back and you light up your uh, whatever you got. So I gotta sit back. Thank you so much. Don't take it again, Spick. Light up my uh my uh, what do they call these again? These are so damn what Perdomo numero uno. And I don't want to see that on the air again. They love pu putting those things on a uh, TV show of me blowing uh, ashes. Yeah. Hey, you see this? It's a little hint. Look at all the experience he's got. Yeah. I got your experience. Mmm. These are great. They look a little dark, but don't be intimidated just because they're dark. A little dark. If they're real dark, then you run like a son of a bitch. <laughs>